Assalamualaikum to Sir Fadirol and my fellow classmates. My name is Nur Adila Nordin and today my group from group 3 and I will be presenting on Glomat Berhad. To start off with, I will present to you all on the company profile of Glomat. Glomat started back in 1988 when the two entrepreneurs and founders of the group Tan Sri Dato F. D. Manso and Dato Richard Fong joined forces to start the, to start Glomat. Today, it is currently managed by Dato Sri F. D. Iskandar, which is the current CEO of Glomat. It was listed on the main board of Bursa Malaysia Securities Berhad on 13 June 2000, and its involvement has seen Glomat group recognized as a trusted and responsible developer involved in every aspect of property and real estate development the company operates through four segments which are property management construction property investment and car park management moving on to the next slide which focuses on the vision and mission of glomac berhad it starts with inspiration, a vision to provide ideal homes, workplaces and recreational facilities to create an environment that enhances the quality of our lives. From pen to paper, plan to reality, they build the vision. The vision states that to help improve the quality of life by providing a better place to live or work and be recognized by their customers, shareholders and employee has a world-class property developer. The mission states that to deliver outstanding services, quality products and value for money for their customers through dedication, innovation and passion. Thank you. That is all from me. Assalamualaikum and my name is Karin Sabenti Saulayuddin and I will be presenting financial ratio which is lead duty ratio and efficiency ratio, leverage and profitability ratio. Financial ratio are helpful instruments that help business manager and investor evaluate and compare the financial arrangement between the financial statement of the company accounts. They are one method that enable financial analysis throughout the history of uh, organization. The first one, liquidity ratio, an uh, important class of financial metric used to determine a debtor ability to pay off current debt obligation without raising external capital. It is the overall measure of the firm ability to meet its short-term obligation. Liquidity ratio focuses on availability of short-term asset to finance short-term obligation. There are three elements of in liquidity ratio, which is current ratio, quit ratio, and operating cash flow ratio, or another name cash ratio. The first element is current ratio. Current ratio is to measure how far the claim of short-term credit are covered by current asset. To get the current ratio, what need to be done is to divide the current asset with the current liability. The purpose of calculating the current ratio is to determine whether the current asset can cover or not the current liability. For example, if the value of the current ratio is 1, it means that the company has one time in current asset for every one ringgit in current liability. That means company can only cover the current liability. If the value of the current ratio is higher than 1, for example, the value obtained is 3, then the company has a double or triple value to cover the current liability. And if the value is below 1, then the company is not in position to be able to cover current liability. Referring to the financial statement of Glomax and Rambert Hart, it looked good for two consecutive years in 2019 with a current ratio of value of 1.19 and in 2020 of 1.23. But in 2020, it's better than in 2019 because the value of the current ratio is greater than 2019. The greater the current ratio, the higher value to cover current liability. For the 2019, 
Glomet has 1.19 times of current asset to pay of 1 ringgit of current liberty and for 2020, Glomet has 1.23 times of current asset to pay for 1 ringgit of current liability. The second element is quick ratio. Quick ratio is to measure the firm ability to pay off its short-term obligation without having to rely on the sale of inventory and prepaid. To get the quick ratio, the value of current asset my minus with the inventory and that value divide to current liability. In this element, why need to minus to inventory first? In real life, inventory is not the kind of direct money. It needs to convert before get the value of money and it takes time. Usually by using the quick ratio, the value that we get below than one actually is not good for company. That means company cannot cover the current liability totally. For example, the quick ratio is 0.85. The company only have 0.85 of quick asset to pay for one ringgit in current liability. In referring to the financial statement of Glomet Sindra Berhad, it looks like company have problem to play to pay the current liability by using the quick ratio with the ratio on both year, which is 2019 and 2020 is 0 0.79. In both year 2019 and 2020, Glomet has 0 0.79 time of quick ratio to pay for one ringgit of current liability. Lastly but not least, the third and the last element for liquidity duquity ratio is cash ratio. Cash ratio is to measure the ability to cover all current liability immediately without having sell or liquidate other asset. To get the cash ratio, the value of cash must divide with current liability. The purpose of cash ratio is to measure the cash of the company willing to pay the current liability or not. By calculating the cash ratio, usually the ratio will be same as quick ratio, which is below than 1. That means the company in trouble to cover the current liability. For 2019, Glomet has 0.29 times of cash to pay for 1 ringgit of current liability. And for 2020, Glomet has 0.34 times of cash to pay 1 ringgit of current liability. 2019 and 2020 are in high risk to pay for current liability. 2020 is better which is when referred to for both year, 2020 is better than 2019. Okay, proceed to next slide, efficiency ratio. The efficiency ratio or activity ratio is typically used to analyze how well a company uses its asset and liability. It's measured on how effectively in the firm utilize its asset. There are five elements in efficiency ratio, which is inventory turnover, average collection period, total asset turnover, receivable turnover, and fixed asset turnover. The first element of efficiency ratio is inventory turnover. Inventory turnover is to measure how effectively the firm using its inventory to generate sales. To calculate the inventory turnover, it must divide the cost of goods sold with inventory. The purpose of calculating inventory turnover is to measure how many times inventory can be sold or convert to selling. Referring to financial statement of Glombat Syndrome Berhad, it showed that the inventory turnover in 2019 is more effective than 2020. More value of the turnover more effective to the company to use its inventory to generate sales. For 2019, the inventory turnover is 0 0.90 time and for 2020, the inventory is 0.56 time. The second element is average collection period, ACP. 
is to find the average length of time that the firm must wait after making credit sale before receiving the cash. To find the SCP or average collection period is by dividing account receivable with asset and after that multiply with the day of one year which is 365 days. It showed that the average collection period for 2020 is less than 2019. It means 2020 is more efficient than 2019. Less of day is better than more of average collection period. For 2020, the average collection period is 133 days. And for 2019, the ACP is 166 days. The third element is total asset turnover. Total asset turnover is to measure the firm effectiveness in using all of its assets. To find the total asset turnover is by dividing sale with total sale. Its more value of total sale turnover is more effective for the company than less. By referring Glomet Senior Berhad, It showed that the total asset turnover for 2019 is more better than 2020. It's not a significant difference for both of year. For 2019, the total asset turnover is 0.14 times. And for 2020, the total asset turnover is 0.13 times. Next is resellable, resellable turnover. Resellable turnover is to measure how efficient does the company collect its resellable. More value of resellable turnover is more, more become more efficient to company. To find the resellable turnover is by dividing dividing the sale or credit sale with account resellable. By referring Clomet Syndrome Berhad. It showed that the reasonable turnover for 2020 is more than 2019. That means for 2020 is more efficient than 2019. For 2020, the reasonable turnover is 2.73 times, and for 2019, the reasonable turnover is 2.19 times. Lastly, but not less, the The last element for efficiency ratio is fee asset turnover. Fee asset turnover is to measure the firm utilization of its plant and equipment. In generally, the fee asset turnover used by analyze to measure operating performance. The efficiency ratio is to compare net sale from income statement to fee asset from balance sheet. By referring to Glomet Sundra Berhad financial statement, it showed that at 2019 is more efficient than 2020. The, that proved that for 2019, the fit asset turnover is 5.76 times, and for 2020, the fit asset turnover is 5.450 times. For another two ratio, I pass to another presenter. That's all from me. Thank you. Let's move to third of financial ratio, which is leverage leverage ratio. The leverage ratio is uh, any one of financial measurement that look at how much capital come in the form of debt, which is a loan. There are three element under leverage ratio, which is debt ratio. Debt to equity ratio and time interest earned ratio. For the first element on the um, leverage ratio is a debt ratio. Debt ratio is uh, to measure the percentage of uh, total fund provided by creditor as compared to fund provided from owner capital. Uh, formula to get the debt ratio is uh, debt ratio divided by total asset times two hundred to get the percentage. By referring uh, the Glomet Senior Berhad uh, for 2019, it showed that uh, total debt 774832003 of uh, divided by total asset 1899991970. The answer is 40.79 percent. This mean that uh, the company used for 40 40 percent only for the debt less than the asset. 
for 2020 the debt ratio is 40.2 which is uh, 7620676776 Divided by 18957477761 of total asset, the uh, equal is 40.20. It must uh, actually by the calculating that uh, ratio, it it must more percentage of the debt than the asset. The second element is uh, debt to equity ratio. That it to equity ratio is uh, the relative proportion for equity and debt used to financial. A firm asset. The formula is uh, total debt divided by total equity times two hundred to get the uh, percentage. For two thousand nineteen, seven four four eight three two zero zero three. The total uh, debt divided by one one two four eight five nine nine six seven of the total equity equal to sixty six point two two percent. The debt equity ratio for two thousand twenty is uh, seven. Uh, sixty seven point two, which is seven six two zero seven zero six seven six seven six of total debt divided by one one three three six eight zero one one five of total equity. The last element is uh time interest earn ratio. Uh, the time interest earn ratio is a a measure for a company. Ability to meet uh, its debt obligation based on the current income. The formula is EBIT, which is interest before. Well, <laughs> earning before interest and tax. Sorry. Uh, for two thousand twenty, uh, the ratio is uh, one point seven one time, which is a. Uh, Three seven eight zero two five three eight divided by two two zero five zero five three six of interest and interest expenses equal to one point seven one time. This means uh, the company uh, willing to pay for the interest because it's got one above. For two thousand twenty, uh, the interest earn ratio in is zero point. Nine eight, which is twenty thousand, uh, twenty million one six one seven six zero uh, six three zero six of EBIT divided by twenty six to eight uh six four six four six interest expenses. Uh, the company uh still can uh pay, but in the later risk. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Afika Farhana binti Mansor, and I would like to present about how company can improve their financial performance. So, financial ratio, or also could be called as accounting ratio, is the common measures in accounting. Therefore, these measures are to know or to evaluate the state of financial performance of the company and its competitors. Financial ratio consists of liquidity ratio, efficiency ratio, leverage ratio, and profitability ratio. As can be seen, these measures is helpful to improve the financial performance of the company. This is because financial ratio will be a platform for the company to measure their strength and weaknesses, and they could compare their financial performance with the other similar business. Or their competitors through the balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement. So, how the company could improve its financial performance through liquidity ratio, efficiency ratio, leverage ratio, and profitability ratio? As for liquidity ratio, the company could use these measures to indicate their cash flow. Whether or not they have a sufficient balance of cash flow to meet its short-term obligation. Therefore, by applying this method, company can know exactly whether the amount of liquidity they have are sufficient to pay or to cover its debt, and it helps to portray the clear overview of the company's financial health. This measure consists of current ratio, quick ratio, and cash ratio. 
current ratio measures the company's ability in generating cash in order to achieve short-term financial commitment. Meanwhile, quick ratio helps to support immediate demand by measuring the ability and assessing the cash quickly. Next, moving on to efficiency ratio. It is measured between the periods of 3 to 5 years. These are the measures to evaluate the efficiency of the company in managing its stock of goods by identifying how long it takes for the stock to be sold or to be, or to be replaced. Therefore, the, as for the inventory relying companies, these measures are the major reason for success because the longer the stock kept on the shelf, more costs will incur. Thus, in these measures, it will enable company to supervise on the practices in buying the stock and the management of the inventories. Therefore, by supervising this element, the company can improve their financial performance as they could analyze the pattern of the purchasing power among the buyer or consumers. From this point, company will know when to minimize or to increase their inventories. Other than that, financial ratio also consists of leverage, leverage ratio, which is consists of two debt to equity ratio and debt to asset ratio. Therefore, this ratio is one of the financial ratio that oversee on how much capital comes in the form of debt, which is loans. Leverage ratio is one of an important ratio in financial measurement because the company itself solely rely on the debt and equity in running the business. This is also same as liquidity ratio. This ratio are important for the company to know its debt, whether their source sufficient to pay their debt, their debt when it's come on due. Leverage ratio also help to improve company financial performance because this ratio can evaluate the mixture of the company operating expenses and help the company to understand well on how the change in output will affect the operating income. Last one is profitability ratio. It is the measures that determine on how successful the company on their profit generating and how successful the value are created for the shareholder. In these measures, the calculation consists of return on equity, return on asset, and gross profit margin. Therefore, profitability ratio are used in evaluating the company financial growth, and it is the best way to compare the business with the similar business industries. As for the calculation of return on equity, this measure can improve the financial performance because it showed to the shareholders how much profit generated from the investment made by them. Meanwhile, computation of return on asset provides the information to the shareholders on how well the management utilized the company asset. Meanwhile, Gross profit margin will analyze on the ability of the company to expand the business whether from the additional debt or other investment. Basically, it helps in decision making process. From this point, this helps company to improve because the shareholders know well on the actual situation in the company. As can be seen, Financial ratio played an important part in improving company financial performance as it measured the productivity of the company. Therefore, these measures help the company to improve as it gives shareholders a clear-cut view on the return from their investment. Also, financial ratio help the inventory relying companies to know when to minimize and increase their inventory. Other than that, this ratio also helps the company to identify how much of capital that comes in the form of debt and also company use this ratio in order to know whether the amount of liquidity they have are sufficient to pay or to cover their debt. Therefore, financial also help to portray the clear overview of the company's financial health. Basically, all of this information compute from the financial ratio will help company to improve their financial performance 
because companies are well aware with their actual situation, whether to minimize or to increase, whether or not to proceed with the suggest suggestion investment. So basically, by using financial ratio, it will help in decision-making process and help the company to understand well on their financial health. Also, they will come up with a solution on how to cope to cope with this situation if it goes wrong. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day to Sir Fadiro and hello to everyone. My name is Siti Fatima. Uh, next, I will proceed with the conclusion which is identifying, analyzing and justifying the financial ratio performance of Glomet Berhad Company. Okay, uh, the Glomet Berhad Company financial ratio as for the liquidity ratio, the ratio shows that the company is able to meet its short-term obligation to pay its debt. Uh, next, for the efficiency ratio, the company is performed moderately to manage their asset effectively in order to generate sales. However, for the leverage ratio, the company is not able to manage their debt very well in order to generate the profits. Uh, lastly, as for the profitability ratio, the company is not able to generate higher profit as the company performance for the profitability ratio is worse than industry average ratio. That's all from me. Thank you.